Welcome to the Alpheus Inflection Tables Tutorial. Let's start with the noun Senatu from Caesar's Bello Kiwili at the Latin Library. We see that this is a masculine fourth declension noun. The stem of the word is Senat and the ending is U. It is singular and can be either the dative or ablative. Let's examine the inflection tables for more information. Click on the inflection table icon. We see a focused view of the fourth declension and the Latin noun inflection table. Endings highlighted in yellow indicate positions in the table that are possible for the word we looked up. They not only have the right ending, but also represent possible grammatical interpretations for that particular word. For example, the yellow highlighted U in the table shows us that senatu must be either dative or ablative singular, because those are the only two possibilities for a masculine noun of the fourth declension with an U ending. The same ending will be highlighted in blue when it appears in a place in the table that is grammatically impossible for that particular word. For example, since we know that senatus is a masculine noun, the oo endings of neuter nouns are highlighted in blue, as is the locative masculine ending, because senatus does not have a locative. If we want to see the full Latin noun declension table, we can click the Expand button. Some words may have multiple possible parts of speech. Let's analyze receptum. We see that this word form can either be a verb participle, a supine, or one of two possible nouns. The noun inflection table is shown first, and we can switch to the other possible parts of speech by selecting from the Part of Speech dropdown. Let's look up a verb now. Double click on sequanter and open the inflection tables. This third conjugation verb form is the third person plural present subjunctive in the passive voice. The same ending is also used in the first conjugation. Our default view is arranged by voice, then conjugation, then mood. This facilitates comparison of the endings for indicative and subjunctive in the same voice and mood, which appear in adjacent columns. But the table can easily be rearranged to facilitate all the other comparisons. For example, we might want to sort by conjugation, mood, voice, or mood, conjugation, voice, to facilitate comparison of the endings for active and passive by showing them in adjacent columns, in the former case, in the same mood, and in the latter case, in the same conjugation. Or, if our primary interest is comparing endings across conjugations, we might want to sort by voice, mood, conjugation, or mood, voice, conjugation so that the endings for the different conjugations appear in adjacent columns. Note that we put a blue border around every cell that our parser has identified as a grammatical possibility, irrespective of the ending actually in that cell. The grammatical possibilities identified by the parser are those shown in the pop-up with the short definition. So there is a blue border around ant, as well as antur, although ant is not itself highlighted because it does not match the ending antur. All the occurrences of antur in the table are highlighted in yellow if they correspond to grammatical possibilities that the parser has recognized, in blue if they do not. Thus, all yellow highlighted endings also have a blue border. Let's look at an irregular verb. Let's look up the word faruntur. Faruntur is an irregular third conjugation verb. 
we first see the irregular conjugation of this verb. We can compare with the regular conjugation by selecting it from the Dropbox. We also see the participle conjugation for this verb. Sometimes there are footnotes to explain the endings. Click on one to see the details. Alpheus has inflection tables for both Latin and Greek. Let's look at a Greek noun in Homer's Iliad. Double click on Thea. The Greek noun tables can be very complex. We also offer a simplified view. For the Greek verbs, we offer paradigm tables. Let's look up aeda. We see that this is an omega verb. It is conjugated the same as the verb bulewo. We are grateful to Dr. Mastronarde for making these tables available in his open source ancient Greek tutorials. At any time, you can also browse all of the Greek and Latin inflection tables by clicking on the Browse Inflections icon in the toolbar. Thank you for watching. Explore additional Alpheus features in the tutorials at https colon forward slash forward slash alpheus.net forward slash pages forward slash tutorials. Please email us with any questions at support at alpheus.net.